everyone in today's video i'm sharing with you my right aid in store shopping haul i did happen to come out to my local right aid store this week to take advantage of some really awesome and incredible savings if you have not yet had an opportunity to do so please be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel i am a j money saver welcome and also please don't forget give this video a big thumbs up thank you so much for stopping by to see what i ended up taking on home from the good old rite aid so this is regarding the sales shopping week of october 1st which was sunday all the way through saturday october 7th 2023 and regarding this sales week it's really awesome and amazing we do have an incredible spend booster where if you spend 40 dollars or more before coupons you're going to go ahead and earn yourself back ten dollars in bonus cash now that is a limit of four times you can go ahead and do this per Rite Aid Reward members account. You can either utilize the email barcode, the social media barcode, the circular in-ad barcode, or also the website barcode. So you got email, social media, website, and circular in-ad. So that's four different earning opportunities per Rite Aid member rewards account. And you can go ahead and you can combo that in with purchase based coupons, taking off a dollar amount off of a dollar amount spent, as well as digital wallet to cart coupons and manufacturer coupons. So the reason that I wanted to go ahead and come out this week, it's really, really awesome. Right away, you're getting back 25% of the purchase price before coupons are even considered with that spend booster. So really, really awesome as far as that is concerned. And then on top of it, we have some awesome and amazing purchase based coupons of $5 off $25 or more circulating around. We also have $5 off $15 or more circulating around. So we have really awesome, awesome stackable coupons on top of that spend booster. So for these transactions I'm sharing with you today, I did do a total of three. And I did shop under two separate Rite Aid Reward member accounts. And I must tell you that even though I'm not done with like every little thing that I ended up picking up deal wise, and I'll talk more in depth about that, all of this ended up being totally free plus bonus cash moneymaker for me. And account specifically, I have monthly bonus cash challenges that I've been tracking um, from the month of September as well as this new month, the month of October, so that I can go ahead and get the reward come the beginning of November where I am going to end up actually earning come the beginning of November an extra $22 in bonus cash because of today's purchases. So let's talk about them, what I picked up, why I did, and what's going on with that. So the first transaction that I did end up picking up was these four Shea Moisture products. Now these are the baby line of Shea Moisture. These will be found in case you're looking at your store for these baby wash and shampoo, baby wash and shampoo, baby lotion. They will be found in the baby section of Rite Aid. Now I found them specifically speaking next to like the wipe section where like Huggies would be, but there's also different lines of baby products like specific baby washes and shampoos and lotions. They're gonna be in that same section, okay? So if you have not yet discovered them, you wanna take a peek and see if your store carries them. They have more reasonable prices as opposed to the adult line of products, which are a little bit more expensive. Now it depends, if you're shopping for yourself, specifically the adult line, that's fine and, and grand, but this week over at Rite Aid, they have a great weekly deal of spend $20 before coupons, earn back $10 in bonus cash, 
and that's a limit of two per Rite Aid member reward account. There's also a hot rebate on Shop Me Um app where if you buy two specifically of like the Shea Moisture products, you can earn yourself back $5 via like a PayPal deposit, for example. And another rebate app has an opportunity. I can't remember if it's... um. Amazon or Alexa or something. I'm not sure, but you'd have to double check if you have that rebate. But I only um, so far work with like the Shop Me Um app. So I know there's a $5 back when you pick up two that qualifies for certain Shea Moisture products. When I was at my store, I did happen to see that these were the adult line of items included in the spend 20 earn back 10 limit of two. They include the hair masks that are priced at $3.49 each, as well as the more expensive lineup, which um, is like $18.99 or $17.99 or $17.49. There's also like some $14.49 products. They also happen to include the body washes and body scrubs if your store carries them. Now, these will be found near like the Dove soaps and all different kinds of like uh, women's soaps. So, if you're looking for them, that's where they'll be. You'll see the body scrubs and you'll see the different kinds of washes. And you'll also see the body bars are included. And those are like $8.29 each. So you can do like a nice little variety combo if you wanted to, realistically speaking. But this is what I ended up getting regarding my account and I know I'll, I'll use these. I have more of a chance of using these up and they were price friendly too. So concerning my first transaction, I had no manufacturer coupons. I had my spend booster, which I handed to the cashier after they scanned through my items. I had a five off $25 or more purchase base coupon and a five off $15 or more purchase space coupon. I needed to make sure I was above $40 before tax, before coupons, as well as um, making sure that I gave the cashier the right things to scan. So I picked up these shampoos each at $9.99. I picked up this other one, this body wash and shampoo this um, was $11.99, and then I picked up this lotion at $8.49. I'll share with you the UPC barcodes in case you're looking. Your store might be differently priced, though. But here's the first one, the one that's $9.99 each at my store. And I picked up two of the same concerning this one. And then I picked up this one. That's a body wash and shampoo. This was, again, $11.99. It must be a lot better than the other one if it's $2 more, right? And then the lotion one, lastly but not least. So only four items in my transaction, okay? And here's how the cashier rang them up. You'll see on my receipt, you'll see specifically speaking, there's the prices, $9.99, $9.99, $11.99. You see my first five off 25 coming off, $8.49 for that lotion. My second five off 15 coming off. My subtotal was $30.46. My tax was $1.83. I paid totally with bonus cash, $32.29. And I earned back $30 in bonus cash. That's 10 and 10 for the Shea Moisture for maxing out the deal on this Rite Aid member reward account, as well as the $10 for the booster. And you'll see that specifically lines up at the bottom of my receipt. There's the Shea Moisture totals, the Shea Moisture, Shea Moisture twice, that's 10 and 10. And then you'll also see here, I got back for the email barcode as far as the spend booster is concerned. So a total of $30 back in bonus cash. So that means that this transaction was $2.29 out of pocket cost, but I did receive back 405 points, which is equivalent to about 81 cents in Rite Aid bonus cash after I go ahead and convert. So I'm gonna take off 81 cents. So that means $1.48. Now, the news that you didn't know about is I have a monthly bonus cash challenge under the account that I shopped under. Now, concerning that one, I did pick up a few Shea Moisture products. I believe it was last week, as a matter of fact. And my bonus cash challenge was spend $57 and earn back $15 in monthly bonus cash challenge money come, I'll get it, in the beginning of November. 
So this will be for me and $15 moneymaker I'm not including as of right now concerning that. But if you take off like the dollar 48, you know, obviously it would be like 13.52. Just saying. But I submitted my receipt to Shopmium app and they should give me because I was able to scan it in right and everything. They should give me back $5 rebate because I had a shop me rebate still available. So I'm gonna take off $5 for that. So that meant without that monthly bonus cash challenge money, $3.52 money maker. So now that we're done with that transaction, we're gonna push it back, okay? And we're gonna talk about the next transaction. So my next transaction was totally different. And I think this might've been, let's see if this was a separate account or, oh, it was the same account that I got the Shea Moisture on. Okay, so concerning this one, I wanted to go ahead and I wanted to pick up this per sale because it's a good deal this week. It's $5.99. There's a $2 off digital low to card coupon. There's also a dollar back through Ibotta limit of two, I think, or one. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I know there's only one $2 off digital low to card coupon. And then when you buy one, you earn back $2 in bonus cash. And that's a limit of two, but it's a weekly deal. So it ends up being cheap laundry detergent. Also, they have an awesome Listerine sale this week. So if the Listerine is buy $12, earn back $6 in bonus cash. It's a limit of two. And also pure zero had a Ibotta rebate where if you pick up a 20 ounce bottle of like shampoo or conditioner, for example, for Pure Zero, you get back almost 50%. It's $5 via Ibotta. And that's a limit of two or three. I can't remember. It's either two or three, but I only got one. And also they had this awesome clearance candle of cinnamon rolls on sale for $2.57 at my Rite Aid specific store. So anyways, the Pure Zero was priced at $10.49 and I had initially thought that the Listerine wasn't on sale, wasn't discounted, and was going to be and ring up as $8.29 at my store. Well, I have these awesome like dollar off coupons I got from my dentist and I'll be getting some more tomorrow because I go to the dentist all the time. So I also had a $1.50 off manufacturer Catalina coupon for Listerine from a prior purchase. And every time you like go to purchase one, as long as you have like your Rite Aid reward member account typed in, every time like the register scans one, it prints out a $1.50 off one of the Listerine um, mouthwashes as well. There is also a dollar off digital load to card coupon in case you don't have any Listerine coupons or you don't know what I'm talking about. So anyways, I went ahead and I picked up these items and I thought, oh, you know, I'm going to earn back the six and six regarding the Listerine and everything's going to work out perfect. Well, here's how the transaction ended up working out and breaking down. And I ended up being a little bit upset, but I was like, you know what? Um, that's okay. I can fix it tomorrow. So I picked up the candle for $2.57 that you'll see on my receipt. I picked up the Pure Zero Moroccan Shampoo, and that's the 20 ounce for $10.49. You'll see my first five off $25 or more purchase base coupon because for every transaction that I did, I used a five off 25 and a five off 15 and a spend booster, a separate barcode if it, it was uh, the same account. You'll see the per sale ringing up for $5.99. You'll see my $2 off digital load to card coupon didn't come off, right? Mmm, why didn't it come off? I'm so upset. You'll also see here the first Listerine at $6.99. You'll see a dollar manufacturer coupon. That's for one of them that I handed to the cashier. You'll see my second $6.99 Listerine. You'll see a $1.50 Listerine coupon that was from the Catalina machine. And then my third Listerine of $6.99 and then the $1.50 off digital uh, Catalina coupon coming off, which wasn't a low to card, but it was a Catalina. So anyways, you see my subtotal is $26.02. Okay, so here's um, things got really tricky and everything else like that. 
I thought this was going to be more expensive. So I threw in this candle because it ended up being that these Listerines were unadvertised. They weren't tagged at my store. They were $6.99 each. So not only did it throw off my deal where it kicked out that $2 off digital load your card for my purse sale, but it also went that I have to buy more Listerine to max out the weekly offer. I hope this makes sense what I'm talking about. If you shop at Rite Aid or if you're going to shop at Rite Aid, problems are going to happen. This was a problem and I'm, I'm upset because customer service has not been available for me at all for the past week or more. I've been trying to get in touch with them from issues that happened over two weeks ago and I still can't get a hold of them. So if I can't get a hold of them over two weeks ago issues, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get this taken care of with a digital load cart coming off. So anyways, I went ahead and I paid totally with my bonus cash $27.58 and I only earned back $18 in bonus cash. That meant $2 for the per sale only one time for the spend 12 earned back six dollars in bonus cash limited two for the listerine and then the ten dollar spend booster for the week and you'll see that on the bottom of my receipt the per sale the two dollars back when you buy one of the per sales weekly deal the ten dollars social media booster and then you'll see tracking see how it's only had 897 so i gotta spend another three dollars and thirty cents to earn another six of Listerine and then you see the one time Listerine only included. So that meant regarding this transaction, it ended up being for me a cost of, of almost $10 because I spent, I spent the $27.58 and I only got back $18. So you remember how it was a money maker? I was up that. So anyways, I went ahead I earned back 18, but it cost me 27.58. Okay, so then I went ahead and I earned 400 points. That's equivalent to 80 cents. So I'm going to take off 80 cents off that. And then I went ahead and I submitted my receipt to Ibotta for this Pure Zero. So I got back $5 for that. And then I submitted my receipt to Ibotta and I got a dollar back for the per sale. So that means that instead of me being like a lot, realistically, this transaction ended up being like, this was a $3.52 moneymaker, but combined between the two, you know, 74 cent moneymaker. Okay. But I got to take care of the Listerine still. I got to buy more Listerine. How annoying is that? I also got to go ahead and I got to complain about that $2 off digital loads of card coupon with the customer service department that's always closed. So I don't think I'm going to win that back and I think it'll be a little loss for me. Am I upset about it? Yes. Will I get over it? Absolutely. I mean, they right now owe me like over $10 in bonus cash for all my troubles of things that have gone wrong. But those are things that happen to couponers on a normal basis because if you're doing tons of deals and you're an avid active couponer, you're going to eventually run into issues. All right. So last but not least, let's talk about our last transaction, which it ends up being more than a money maker of bonus cash for me, just due to the fact that I have a monthly bonus cash challenge. But I worked it out to be a little bit more perfect than this mishap one. So I picked up four bottles of the Listerine mouthwash because now I knew, hey, they're $6.99 each. And I also picked up another one of the Pure Zeros, this time the matching conditioner that goes with the shampoo that I bought in that prior transaction, and one single bottle of the Persil laundry detergent. Now they did have another kind also included on an end cap, so if you can't find them on the regular laundry detergent shelves, go look on your end caps to see if they stocked it there. So I picked up all these four, this and that, that's it, okay? We'll go down the breakdown of my transactional process. So you see up the top, the per sale for $5.99. You see my $2 off digital load to card coupon. And this is a totally different account. So there was no reason it didn't come off there except for the fact that this mishap of being short. So 
you see the $2 off digital loach card, you see each of the listerines. One, two, three, four. You see for each one I have a dollar manufacturer coupon. Or for one of them, I have a dollar fifty. That was a Catalina coupon that printed out right away that I used. You'll see the five off fifteen, the five off twenty-five, and you'll see last but not least that pure zero conditioner for ten forty-nine. You see my subtotal is twenty-seven ninety-four. With tax, I paid twenty-nine sixty-two. I earned back twenty-four dollars in bonus cash. Let's talk about why. So I earned back. You'll see right here, the per sale $2 in bonus cash for buying one. You'll see the email barcode provided me back for the spend booster, $10 in bonus cash. And you'll see I maxed out the Listerine, so I earned six and six because I purchased over $24 this time because I knew the correct pricing. So as far as that $24 in bonus cash earned back from the $29.62 spent. So let's go ahead and go over numbers and things like that. So I went ahead and I paid $29.62. I earned back $24 in bonus cash. And I earned back 88 cents in bonus cash regarding points. Also, I went ahead and I submitted my receipt again to a different Ibotta account. I earned back $5 for the Pure Zero, $1 for the per sale. So that means that this was a money maker after everything all said and done. It worked out perfectly. It was a good transaction. I mean, it didn't have problems like this one had. So let's talk about what more I earned. So I also earned tracking to complete my Listerine monthly bonus cash challenge. That's going to provide me with $7 more in monthly bonus cash challenge money come the beginning of November. So that'll be like a totally awesome. As I said, this all together ends up being a $24 bonus cash money maker. And plus I was able to cash out some money by Ibotta with these four items. Now, another thing I want to discuss is a few different things going on regarding Listerine. If you have not yet signed up, you want to sign up. If you're picking up the Listerine, it's a pretty simple process. If it doesn't go through right the first time, you can go ahead and you can contact their customer service because it's always working. So Listerine is involved in a promotion of earnrewards.com slash Asia checkup, as well as there's a promotion via mycareclubrewards.com slash Listerine as well. Now, if you submit your receipt of your Listerine purchases, to earnrewards.com slash your checkup once you acquire 4500 points you can go ahead and swap out your 4500 points for a 15 dollar prepaid visa gift card for example and it's a limit of two times per household hope that makes sense so you can do also these like bonus earnings when you first sign up for the deal and it's like, did you go to the dentist or answer the survey or something else like that? So anyways, I uh, will, after this, like have acquired enough points where I'm going to get back two $15 prepaid Visa gift cards. Now with the points, how they work is like, for example, this is how it's supposed to work. So, you know, when you submit your receipt, say you spent like $6.99. You're going to earn back 699 points like per bottle. It's not supposed to be like after coupons, but I don't know how it's going to track for you. Just make sure that if it doesn't turn out the way you want it to, it's worth the shot emailing and shooting out an email to that customer service department saying like, hey, listen, I paid $6.99 per bottle of Listerine. Make sure I'm credited at $6.99 in points for the $6.99 that I spent for it because that's how much they cost at the time of the purchase. Now with the other one, it's called MyCareClubRewards.com. Now it awards you like a certain amount of points per Listerine purchase. 
And with that one, if you, again, acquire a certain amount of points on like their wheel or whatever, you can go ahead and exchange those points towards a gift card as well. And that one, I, I can't remember exactly um, if it's going to be like a prepaid Visa gift card or what exactly. I'm, tr I'm trying to check it also too. But it does go ahead and it gives you um, basically a chance to earn a gift card for purchasing different products. And it's not just Listerine products. I think it's also different Johnson & Johnson products too. So just check out that website if you haven't. But I'm uploading and I'm submitting my receipts to them because, listen, because of today's purchase, I'm getting back an extra $30. So not only is this like a $24 monthly bonus cash challenge and just regular bonus cash money earning opportunity for me for today's products that I picked up. It's also like I cashed out for like real things that I can use like those prepaid gift cards towards going out to dinner or something fun and fancy like that. But these are the type of deals that I like doing money makers and um, things that just flow and work fine. Now, customer service owes me $2 regarding this. I didn't know that the pricing went down to $6.99. I should have just been more proactive in checking, but I didn't check it because I assumed that it was $8.29 this week at my store. Some other stores are only $7.99, so it all depends. But I do hope you enjoyed the stories along with everything that I went ahead and discussed. I do plan on heading back to the store for some um, other deals. I have like an account specific Old Spice uh, bonus cash challenge. I also have I bought a rebates regarding some Old Spice products too. And I also see some other opportunities as far as some other things. So I'm going to be sure and post about it when I have time and when I go ahead and I pick up the items. And other than that, again, please be sure to like and subscribe for more great videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are able to come up with a great deal like myself. And I hope you all have a great, fantastic week now. Thanks for watching. Catch you on my next video. Bye. Thank you, Brady. You are so awesome. I am definitely going to let your successors know about your great work and responsibility out in the world there. Thank you, Brady. Bye.